carbon nanotubes are their diameters are only on the order of one nanometer but their length can be millimeters centimeters and individually they they have exhibited unusual properties optical properties electronic magnetic properties they are extremely anisotropic but when you assemble them um, typically what you end up with is is a random network of, of nanotubes so therefore you, you you lose all the wonderful properties of individual carbon nanotubes what we discovered here is is a new method it's, it's a very simple method based on a vacuum filtration method to, to make make huge uh, wafer scale films okay centimeters inches similar to uh, silicon wafers right in, in which the, the nanotubes are globally aligned that's one of the uh, discoveries we we made in, in this work the, the the second part is there's a there's a large family variety of carbon nanotubes so there are different species of carbon nanotubes some of them are metallic, some of them are semiconducting, and they have different properties depending on, depending on the diameter, okay, diameter and the so-called um, chiral angle. Typically, if you have an ensemble of carbon nanotubes, it's a mixture. It's a mixture of metallic tubes and semiconducting tubes with different properties. We were able to use one of these techniques uh, before making films. So, so the, the result is we, we now have a film okay, it, in which the, the nanotubes are aligned and also the, the, all the nanotubes are, have the same diameter and same uh, chiral angle. Okay. So essentially we have a single crystal-like big object which consists of a, a single chirality carbon nanotubes.